You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't think so, Clem. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. No power, no TV. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of a supreme leader. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? You out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. He's mine. 
Nice to see you. Molly? <laughs> Molly! What? Calm the fuck down! What's wrong with you? What's the matter? Never seen someone kill a geek before? Not like that. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Something you need? What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, nah, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. I'm going to have a look around. You do that. It's locked. No way in. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Something you need? Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals.
Got that one off. The positive terminal still bolted on. The positive terminal still bolted on. It's off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass! Great, now what? Skyline. It's shut. Shoot it out! Never stop complaining. Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it... Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. You get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? 
I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Hey, Krista. Yeah? Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up? Oh, come on! You just dug up a rotting dog carcass! I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're going to get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... 
Okay, we'll figure it out. I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omid's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with her... That is not going to happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine! You're right. I'm sorry. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Okay. No tape inside. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry, she'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. We maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him.
This might be just what we need. What's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. Shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. Sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Yeah, I'm sure. Are we done? What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Sorry, I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. Ah, shit! It wasn't me! 
Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben. We don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. That's when Duck... Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can warp his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group, and that means cutting you loose. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> <laughs> now can we go? Damn right! Vernon, come on! <laughs> So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on! There's gotta be a way out down here! <laughs> Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs!
right, Clem. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Come on, let's go! Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. She'll be okay. I know it's tough on her now, but she'll understand. I did what I had to. She will understand, right? She's gonna have to if she's gonna make it in this world the way it is now. No easy decisions anymore. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks, but now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? The 
because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. That might be for the best. Boat's gonna be crowded as it is. You kinda strike me as more of a go-it-alone type. Yeah, I've always had a hard time relying on other people. Although I've got to admit, you've given me a reason to rethink that. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clementine, this may be hard to understand right now, but sometimes for the good of everyone, we have to make tough choices. Ben was putting us all in danger in Crawford, so I made a decision, and I left him behind. I know that sounds bad, but I had to think about the whole group, not just one person. But I'm just one person. Not to me, you know. Before we leave tomorrow, Will we have time to look for my parents? We can't, Clem. I'm sorry. But they're in Crawford somewhere. They have to be. Clementina, I know you don't want to give up on them. But Crawford's just like every other place now. If your parents are there, they won't be like you remember them. And they won't remember you at all.
Clementine. Clementine? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. You out here? Lee! Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. And who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Where the hell are they? 
Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your... 